Where are we? We're at the Ross Castle here in Killarney, mm -hmm. Ireland. We're going to go and check it out. So far the weather is cooperating today. So far. Yep, so far. Now we're headed for the Torque Waterfall. It's just outside of Killarney. We're on this gorgeous little back road. In Killarney National Park. Can you hear the waterfall? Let's investigate, shall we? All right, so we're near the Torque Waterfall, walking down a little trail trying to find it. And we can hear it, so clearly we're very close. Just absolutely gorgeous. Unfortunately, the weather today is cooperating. It's not real windy, it's not real cold, and thus yet, it's not raining. Well, we made it to the Torque Waterfall. It's a bit of a hike, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, my knees hurt too, but it's beautiful. And there's more stuff more down there. But... Okay, so apparently we went to the wrong car park for the Torque Waterfall and we walked down a really long path and we got to the bottom and we saw the waterfall, it's beautiful. And Jenny's not gonna go back up that, so I have to walk all the way back up, get to the car and, and come get her. So it's, it's, uh, it's a lot harder going up than down.
Yosemite National Park and we happen to pass by this thing here. There's wire blocked in so we can't even get any closer. That's the view. sign that said holy will I've gone down this pathway to find it it's way down there and I'm not going all the way down there. past this earlier we came back to look at it turns out it's somebody's gate Notice that it's not anything example of, of driving in Ireland. Unfortunately, we're driving on a lot of rainy roads. So two days ago, it was like this. Yesterday, it was nice. And today, it's like this. And it seems to be part of the course here in Ireland. So we didn't plan to come here, but we ended up here nevertheless. And this is Kilkenny Castle. It has some beautiful grounds as you can see there in the background. But anyway, this was, uh, it was literally around the corner from our hotel here in Kilkenny. This is our last night in Ireland. This is gonna be a quick trip. The castle isn't open for tours anymore today. So we got to see it, but that's about it.
you. <laughs> It's 5.30 in the morning. I feel like crap. Ireland has given me a little head cold to go home with. And as you can see, there is nobody, well, a few people, other than us, on the road. Two hour drive to Dublin, yay! We're here in the Dublin airport. We got, uh, we got checked in really early this morning. I got up about 3.30 in the morning and we had to leave the hotel by 5.30 and then our flight doesn't leave till 11.10 but we had to turn in the rental car and we had to do our tax-free uh, rebates. Essentially, we're kind of sitting around in the departure lounge right now and uh, we did have something to eat, or at least I did. It's gonna be a long day, we're both really tired and we're ready to get some sleep. But we've got our flight from here to London and then from London, it's, about a t it's over a 10 hour flight from London back to Houston. So with that, we did, we bid Dublin goodbye. trying to get to our flight and our tickets say that the gate closes at 120 which was one minute ago and it's taken us about an hour just to get to where we're at and we still have to take a train over to our gate so I don't know if we're gonna make it or not our flights not supposed to leave till 220 so hopefully it's just a misprint on the ticket I guess we're gonna find out all right well we made it to our gate fortunately we had to like walk down take escalators downstairs go to a lift take that down underground take a train over to the next terminal building back up the lift, back up whatever, all the way to the gate. We get here and there's like nobody around, so we were freaking out thinking that the plane had left. Luckily, I had time to go to the bathroom yeah. and some of the drink and stuff. Yeah. So, it's gonna be a long, long ride home. Maybe a second ear problems? Oh yeah.